everyone it's silver here and welcome back to another video on my channel um i know it's been a long time since i did a video for my channel but um that being said there's been a lot of reasons um as to why it's been taken it's been taking me so long to upload anything um, so I decided I'll do a little bit of a flip through of one of my new colouring books that I have received. Um, so I got this book, which is Millie Morota's Animal Kingdom, a colouring book adventure, and I received this as a, uh, free gift as part of a deal when I made an order through Kaisercraft and I received it as a free um, book because if you buy a certain amount of colouring books they get a free one so you get a free apparently if you buy three you get one free or something like that I'm not exactly sure but you can in fact buy this from a lot of other places I just have to get mine from the the Kaiser Craft store here in Australia. So, so this is the book I have, which has this beautiful gold foiling on the cover, um, which has some beautiful elephants, some flowers, and birds and things. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys can see this okay because um, it's really hard to see from my phone's camera if this is in view or not. Um, okay, so let's open it up and see what it is. So on the, see the first page is just the title and inside you've got this beautiful leaf cover which can open up and you can also colour it in if you want to. Now I've never done any of Millie Morota's um, colouring books before so this will be very interesting to colour in. So it basically it just has an introduction um, for things. Okay so the first colouring page is obviously a looks like a squid or an octopus or something like that um, which is very interesting so that's what this first page is of um, very interesting patterns then the second one is with elephants and it says here, the majestic Asian elephant loves to stand out, add some decorative shapes and botanical prints to his belly. So this one is where you can draw your own lines and patterns and colour it in. The next page, we've got some dragonflies. which has a bit of a, um, the Sashiko style, um, pattern in the background. So Sashiko is a Japanese sewing method where you do certain intricate lines and dashes in their, um, their patterns, which, um, include geometric shapes. Um, very similar to kind of like cross stitching, but it's called Sashiko. Okay, so this next page we have um, these beautiful butterflies and some flowers. And then on this one we have what seems to be some moths or butterflies. Um, then this page is some birds. So this one seems like a um, a budgie. Uh, 
Um, we've got a raccoon and a fox here. Some fish. Some more moths. And it says, tiny delicate hairs cover the moth's wings. Create your own intricate pattern. Then the next one is just another two page colouring in with some flowers, some ladybugs and plants and things. Now the next one is some owls, lots of roosters, but they call it a cockerel here, which says a cockerel. Um, here in Australia we call them a rooster. Um, so it just has the two here and then it says here the cockerel is such a show off. And then it says add to his elaborate plumage. And we have a hare and a tortoise. So it says, slow and steady wins the race. Take your time decorating the tortoise's shell. So we've got some more um, patterns here with some birds and what appears to be like leaves. And then the second one just shows the same design but you with the sections where you can fill it in yourself the animal kingdom exists even in the depths of the ocean bring this coral to life with bursting color so we've got some coral here and a clownfish here and looks like there's some starfish as well um, then we've got some two fish over this side. So this book is very interesting with its patterns and lines. So we have what it seems to be a, I think this is a kingfisher, I believe. I'm not really sure. Do not really quote me on that. I'm not really sure what this bird is. If you know what this bird is, leave a comment in the section below. Um... If you know what this bird is. Um, we also got some more birds here. Then this one is some trees. And it says, fill these trees with leaves and woodland birds. Then we have a deer. And a donkey. And then the next page has um, some more birds and some trees. And this one has um, what appears to be like some beetles and bugs. And it says these beetles and bugs should shimmer and shine with iridescent colour. And then the second one is some caterpillars and um, bugs as well with some flowers. So this other one here is obviously it's a frog with some lilies in a pond. So water lilies and... They're just sitting there on their lily pads. We have some more birds here. So this one we have a seal or a sea lion. Um, and it a, seems to be like a lobster or a crayfish on the next page here. And then it says here, sea lions shed their hair every year. Can you draw him a brand new coat? So 
So this one's obviously the crayfish or the lobster here. And then we've got some jellyfish. Jellyfish can come with a nasty sting. Make sure they stand out in the tides. Now the next one we have what seems to be a rabbit or a hare um, jumping in some flowers and then we have a little bunny rabbit here just laying down on some leaves. Now the second page we have is butterflies and some flowers. And some caterpillars crawling along the branches. We have some more birds. And some flowers with the bee. And says add these beauties to the add these botanical beauties so the bees can spot their nectar. Okay. This one's very detailed. So this one's got more birds in some trees. And then we have a giant whale. It says complete the ocean home of this graceful giant using deep blues and greens. So this, I think, particular whale I believe is what they call a sperm whale I believe <laughs> um, yeah I'm not exactly quite sure but I'm pretty sure this is a sperm whale um, so it's very big and has lots of geometric patterns in it and lines so this will be really nice to colour in Then we have a rhinoceros or a rhino and a gorilla. Then we have toucan, a toucan here, which is a toucan bird. And then we have a chameleon. Then we have a snake. Then we have some more birds in a tree and some squirrels. And now the second page we seem to have some more birds. Not really sure which kind of birds these ones are, but um, very, very intricate patterns. Then we seem to have some mandalas here with a little field mouse in the centre of this one. We have some giraffes here and then we have a hippo and it says the hippo loves to wallow in the mud. Take the chance to fill him with colour. We have some more flowers and bees. And then we have a snail here and it says the snail lives in his shell, help to decorate his home. And then we have on the next page, we have some bees in a hive in the honeycomb um, with all their honey. Um, just really nice. Now we have a flamingo and it says fill the flamingo's plumage using all the colours under the sun, hot pink, jade green and a vibrant purple. So that will be really nice to colour in as well. Then on this page we have a peacock with some flowers and some lovely garden flowers here and plants. And then on the second page we have another one of those birds as well. Then we have some grasshoppers. 
I believe, in this page. There we've got a, another bird. And then on the other page we have a woodpecker. Some more birds. And it says, fill in the foliage for these feathered friends. Now we've got some bears here and a, a ram on this page. And it says, draw a mountain, oh, the, sorry, draw a mountain backdrop for this dull ram. Then this one says to create an animal kingdom of your own. So you can do your own drawing here. And then last but not least, the end of the book. So that is the flip through for this book. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and a thumbs up for this video if you enjoyed this video. And also don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye!